so far in this application we are only using the app module for the routing purpose but there are several other modules in this application we have this auth this public shared and users now let's understand how can we work with the routing with multiple modules let's say first i have to deal with this auth and in this auth we have multiple components as a first step we have to establish a relationship in between this auth module and the app module this is the name of this auth module let's copy it and go back to the app module and over here let's import it in this imports array let's import it from the proper path there we go and again let's go to this app routing and over here let's format the changes first like this now put a comma and let's add one more object this time i want to define all the paths for this auth module and for that let's say i want to have the url like domain then the auth and then the login similarly for the sign up i want to have auth and then the sign up so basically this auth is the basic keyword and i can define that over here auth then we have to define the component and this component is basically a layout for this particular path and in this auth we do not have a separate layout as of now if your layout is same then you can use this app component but if your layout is different then you can generate one more component in this auth and you can use that component over here as a layout let's generate a new component over here so here i'm writing ng g c and i want to generate a new component inside this auth let's say the name of my component is also auth and this time i do not want to generate the parent folder so basically i want to have only the flat files hit the enter button and here you can notice that along with this auth module we have this auth component as well so let's copy this auth component go back to the app routing module and over here let's define this auth component and remember this time we are defining the path for a separate module and that is the auth module so for that we have to write one more property over here and that is the children this is because all our components are available in this auth module and again the similar structure so the path this time if it is login then i want to call the login component like this just put a comma and copy this entire code paste it again if it is sign up then i want to call the sign up just save the changes right click on this page and use this format document like this now let's see what are the changes in this application and how it will work on the browser there is no change on this home page and about us is also working fine let's see for the how it works it is also working fine but this time if i want to access the login page then i have to write auth and then the login hit the enter button and here you can see that still we are getting the header and footer from the app component if i will open this auth component.html over here and let's remove this entire code and use that router outlet over here save the changes we are getting an error at this place let's see what is the error the error is that this router outlet is not a known element okay at this place we are inside this auth module and over here this auth module does not know anything about this router outlet we have to import this section over here and it is available in the router module so we have to open this auth module and import that router module save the changes you can see that the error is gone and on the browser you can see that we are having this auth and the login if i want to have the sign up hit the enter button you can see we are having the sign up works 